It's Friday, you know what that means. It's time for another Mod Spotlight video. I'm TVF Gaming, we do a bunch of survival games, tutorials, the longest one life challenge in history, and just in general, a lot of just random gaming here on the channel. But mainly Ark lately, we're doing some Mod Spotlights, some of these amazing mods that are taking one of our favorite games and turning it into an even better game. So let's check this out. So we got six mods today. Now keep in mind, these mods are all in early development. The modding community is working hard to get them right. So please show them some love when you go over there and check out either their Discord or their mod pages. All of the links to the mods are down below. So if you want to know spawn codes, you want to know different things for the mods, just go to the link down below for that Curse Forge page and all the different modders, they have their little spawn codes either on that page or they have it on their own individual Discord. So to go check those out if you want to see spawn codes. I can show you those, but I think you should probably go to their pages. That way they can get some traffic over there because that's how they get reimbursement for all the hard work that they do. So we've got five, technically six mods in our top five mods of the week. Let's get into today's video. Should be a lot of fun. All right, if we didn't mention it before, all of these mods are our cross platform let's get straight into it we've got some incredible mods you can kind of see around us what we got going today this is our area on the island on our single player where we do all of our mod testing let's go ahead and check out the first one. all right the first mod that we're going to look at today is cliffin's weapons western expansion this is a very western themed it's just got a few different guns and ammo in it it's a very cool little mod that adds some cool rp elements to the server we'd like to do this one on scorched earth it's going to go perfect when scorched earth finally gets here check it out man we got four four or five different weapons down here let's go ahead and just cycle through them real quick all the ones on our hot bar there you go they all have their own little reload animation. They've got some really good sounds associated with them, too. There you go. The rifle, the rifle, and the final one. There you go. And I don't know the names of each one, but if you look down here, we've got the Primitive Winchester 21 Shotgun, Primitive Winchester 73 Lever Action, Primitive Sharps Rifle, 5090 Sharps Rifle Ammo. We've got the Primitive Colt Single Action Army, the Primitive Lamat Revolver, the Primitive Schofield Revolver, and the Navy Revolver. So lots of cool weapons down there. They've got their own little special weapons, or, I mean ammo, and then some of them take the simple ammo bullet. They also have these little trinkets that you can put on, if you go like that. So now if we have that one, should have a little trinket hanging, if you can kind of see it there underneath the trigger. I don't know if it has any functionality to it. I don't think it does. Uh, I think it's just a cosmetic, but very, very cool. There's those. And then if you want to remove it, you use this thing here, and it removes the trinket, I think. <laughs> yep, there it goes. They removed it. All right, cool. So, yeah, really really cool mod. Just really simple mod. Got some good sounds to it. I think each one has its own little sound file. Let's just do each one. Hopefully those raptors don't come over here and break things right now. All right. That one's not firing for us. Come on, reload. Oh, that's awesome. All right, the rifle. Make sure we see it in first person, too, so you guys can actually see it. There's this one. Oh, there you go. We see if we can shoot that way over there. I don't have that kind of aim, so we're probably not going to be able to hit it. <laughs> oh, he's reloading slow. Oh, this must be... This is shotgun ammo, probably. There we go, finally. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. That's pretty smooth looking. And the final one, the other Winchester. Oh, nice, the double. All right, there you go. More traditional shotgun looking. Very cool. Oh, nice. The animation for it is perfect, though. Okay, next one is the Clippin's Backpacks. This one's really cool. The, this adds a cosmetic backpack that also affects your weight. So they do have different functions for it. There's a tier one, two, and three with each one of these. I haven't really looked at what they need in terms of crafting requirements, but fiber and hide for the first one. And then for the second one, it's fiber, metal, and hide. And then for the third tier... Fiber, metal, and height. So not too bad. And it's not like super expensive. Unlocks at level 10, 35, and 70. That's actually a good depiction of all of them right there. You got the mountain backpack, the basket, the satchel, the travel backpack, the travel backpack with a lantern, backpack pouch, the festive backpack, and the scroll sling backpack. Very, very cool, man. Clifford did a good job on this. Plus, they actually are cosmetics that you can actually see. So let's go ahead and grab one of each here. We'll grab just the tier one of each one. And we will try each one of these on real quick. All right. So let's go ahead and go like that, go like this, and let's start putting them on. So there's the first one. There you go. I don't think it fills up while you're grabbing things, but it might. But that that's really cool. There's the first one. There's the second one. Oh. Oh, there's a cooldown. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. There you go. Okay. There's the backpack. All right. The satchel, once we get the cooldown done. But it's just really cool that it adds a cosmetic. Like I said, it does actually have weight reduction, which is very cool. All right, let's go to... These are all going to look kind of kind of the same. Let's go ahead and check out the festive one. This is getting close to Christmas time. And boom, there's the festive one. 
<laughs> awesome. That'll go perfect if the event actually hits Ark soon. Okay, so that, that's Cliffin's Backpacks. I just thought it was a really cool mod. I think both those are definitely worth checking out. The actual Cliffin's Weapons and the Cliffin's Backpacks. So there you go. Two for one for our first little mod spotlight there. Let's move to the next one. All right, next one we're going to talk about is the Admin Panel by Crazy Wolf. This is a really cool mod. I'm not going to go super in-depth into this one. I'm just going to kind of show it off a little bit. In order to get into this one, you're just going to hit Shift F10 or on the... You can also use the radial menu to get into it as well. I think that's how you would do it on Xbox. I haven't tested it on there just yet. This has just a lot of cool things in it. You've got item spawn, dino spawn, schedule broadcast, dino scanner. Lots of things you can do over here. All the different auto, the admin commands over here. What's really nice is if you want to do certain admin commands, but you want this to close out immediately, click this little thing here. And then when you go into fly mode, there you go. You're now in fly mode and you're no longer in that menu. So it just makes it a little bit easier to so get out of it quickly. Otherwise, you just activate it and then exit out normal. So you go back into walk mode. So th those are those. I think this is really cool. It's got a lot of really good things. Destroy wild dinos. Save world, which is nice. Uh, broadcast, so you can actually broadcast across your server. Tested this out on a server a little bit. Definitely seemed to work just fine. It's also got a dino scanner, which I think is really cool. You can actually scan for dinos. And then this is, these are the two that were kind of biggest to me because... As a server admin, a lot of times you have to replace dinos, replace items. If there's like a disaster or a big rollback and you want to help out the people on your server, this is something that really helps out with that. So if you want to go into item spawn and you need to come down here and you need to spawn in specific items, this just makes it a lot, a lot easier. So you can go down here to all these different items and then you can change which type, resources, tools. So if you need to do specific weapons or tools and then you come over here and you change what the quality is. We want an ascendant and then we want to give five of them so we can get a few different ones and then you can actually spawn in that item very very cool so that's the item spawn the other one that's huge is the dino spawn this one's even bigger if you can go ahead and down here you can go to all the different dinos admin bronto compi dimetrodon this makes things a lot easier for admin so this is huge this is also really good for me for doing these spotlight videos because now I can spawn in. If I need a certain dino, I can do it this way a lot easier. You can also decide if you want it tamed, if you want it male or female. Uh, looks like there's no saddle of option for that one, obviously. You can decide if you want it to have a saddle. So tamed female with a saddle and imprinted. And then you can change what level. We'll make it a 150. There you go. Max on the thing. And then you click down here, spawn dino. And then boom, we have a spawned tamed iguanodon back there. So if someone lost their one of their really good tames, you could replace that for them. Or if you just want to kind of test them out on your own. I have not tested if this works with modded dinos yet. I guess we could look at that real quick and see if it does. But I don't I don't think it works for modded dinos. But we could definitely check it out. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't think it does. That might be something they can add later in functionality, or maybe it does work, and I'm just not sure how. And then to get back to the admin main, just click that. But there you go. Super, super good ser uh, server admin tool by Crazy Wolf Admin Panel. Let's move to the next mod. All right, this is probably the one that you were most excited about. This is the actual Moro's Indomitable Duo. This gives you a Moro Rex and a Moro Raptor. Very cool. Also, I love when you check out a mod, and there's way more to the mod than what you realized. I thought this was a super simple mod with just two dinos in it. Turns out it's got a lot more stuff. These are also a tier one and a tier two. So you can do some upgrading of your dino, I guess. Or maybe it's just a better version. Not really sure, but that, that second version looks amazing, doesn't it? All right, so did I... Let's see, I think I put the stuff over here. If not, we can always... Hold on. If not, we can always grab it again. I, I usually put these here. Nope. Maybe in the last one. Maybe this one. There we go. There's these things here. There's a couple of these eggs. We're going to check all this stuff out together. And then there's a bunch of structures. So like I said, it, it started off as looking like a really simple mod, but it actually had quite a bit to it. This is by Moro Nada. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that at least somewhat correctly. Uh, the, according to their page, they're the student 3D modeler, and they actually made these models. So it's they look really, really cool. All right, let's go ahead and check out the actual bits and pieces to the mod before we jump on the dinos and check them out real quick. And the models are great. But what was really cool is seeing all this extra stuff in here. You've got the engineering station, which is where you're making your composites, like the power cells. You need to run some of the other items here. And then you've got your structures, which is the structures that you see behind me. We've got the DNA extractor, DNA synthesizer, DNA sequencer, the GMH incubator and the trike skull monument. So really cool. I, I think this is actually a really cool mod, man. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. I'm not going to go through what each one of these does. There's like a few steps that you got to go through to get them to work. What I will show you is one of the end results. Check this out. This is one of the coolest things. Make sure you have your power cells in here and we're going to put one of these in here. Like, so we're going to click the egg. We're going to click hatch egg and check this out. It actually hatched. Look, 
So the dino actually hatched right there. And then if you give it a second, it's actually going to pop out. This is really cool. All these little models are all really well done. If you get really close to each one of the items, they look amazing. There you go. It pops out the baby. All right. It's going to lay down and go to sleep. Or I was waking up. Sorry. And then we come up here and we claim the baby. Boom. I felt like when this first popped out that it was going to eat my face. But there you go. Little baby dino. That'll grow up into a bigger one later. But like I said, lots of cool items here. Each one has its own thing. These are the uh, pure... DNA, you got to work on. Like I said, I'm not going to go super in depth into it. Definitely check out the mod if you want to see more about it. Go to his Curse Forge page, and he's got a whole Google Doc set up that tells you how to e use each one of those. But the egg one I had to show you because that looked absolutely awesome. But there you go, man. Some really cool models. The Trike Monument looks great. The dinos look incredible. Let's jump on the dinos real quick. First one is the Moro Raptor. This is the tier one. Looks really, really cool. Let's go ahead and check out the attacks. Left click, right click, C button. Oh, he's got some kind of growl. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. Good job. X button. Oh, X button did something. What did that do? Oh, look on the right. Resting mode. Alt Z. Thermal vision. Control. Oh. Bite and rip. Alt C. Oh, wow. That's cool. All right. Roar is C. Stance change. Right click. Oh, he does like an iguana dawn. And now he's faster. Wow, okay. Like I said, this mod is super impressive. It's got a bunch of extra stuff into it that I had no idea. Toggle, control, visibility, alt, R. Oh, that's doing something on my... <laughs> that's doing something on my NVIDIA stuff, so hopefully that goes away. All right. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, left, alt. Okay, let's just go ahead and jump off that guy. Okay, so that's the first one. That's the Moro Raptor. The other one should be pretty much the same, just a, a tier two of it, so it's the generation two. Looks so cool. Uh, this one has a echo location with X. Oh, that's what we did with the other one. Okay. And then the rest of it should be the same. Alt-Z. Oh, man. Alt-Z wants to do some craziness on my screen. So that doesn't help. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that, that brings up my NVIDIA controls, and now everything's kind of funky. All right. So let's go ahead and pick you up. All right. Number one, F1. Boom. Come on. And then the last one, the Moro Rex, the big Indominus Rex-looking one. Let's see what this guy has. Man, he's huge. Man, we've got some weird graphics things going on down here. All right, so this guy... Hold on, we need to be able to see what we got here. We got grab with R. Okay, so I, can he actually pick things up? Okay, this we have to at least test out, right? Is there something over here I can go after? Hold on. I just have to see if it picks things up. Oh my god, it does! We're just carrying this raptor around. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so that's that's R. Alt C is the communication roar. All right. Control. Oh, we got a we got a whole thing on our screen now. Okay. Hold left alt to deactivate camera mode. Okay. Okay, there's that one out of the way. Very cool, man. Uh C is the camo. Does he go invisible? There we go. All right, right click is roar, left click melee. That's awesome, and then X is the tail swipe. Hit that tail swipe. Wow, animation is great. Damage is nice too. So there you go, man. That is that's the big old Moro Rex. Very cool. Like I said, this mod had a lot more to it once we started checking it out. So definitely excited about that one. Definitely worth checking out. And it does say that it's cross platform. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, a lot of these are, are early access, so if they. They have a little bit of trouble on console, man. That's to be expected. The modders are having a little bit of a rough time getting everything to work just right. Let's move on to the last two. All right, next mod on our spotlight list is the Arcomatic mod. This Arcomatic mod is pretty incredible. The Arcomatic mod by Bigums. He did a really good job on this mod on ASE. ASA is no different. It just adds a bunch of quality of life structures that do some auto crafting for you. Just kind of take some of the stuff out of it. There, there was a whole bunch more structures on the ASE version, so I imagine there's going to be more in the future. We'll definitely do an update if they add a bunch, but let's just quickly go through the structures here. This is just all that does auto crafting stuff the first one is your composite so it makes your composites for you forge you know what that does obviously it smelts your stuff for you got a couple different storages with little text displays on them you can actually change the text display to say what you need to say and then you can turn that text display on and off just like so and then you've got the ammunition crafter you've got the egg collector and the poop collector these ones actually look cool i like a little light on those ones and then you've got the bench to make all the different benches so in here you've got all these ones spoils raw meat the archimatic composite Select a recipe and start auto crafting. Requires gasoline or charge batteries to be powered to be activated. Just really cool, man. This last one is the 
wood to charcoal. So you just throw wood on there and it'll turn it into charcoal. And like I said, it needs either power or batteries. But it looks like we have power all the way over here. All right. Uh, that's already powered. And there you go. Turn that one on. And then this one is for your composites. You just select it. And then now it'll start making that if we have the items for it, obviously. There you go, man. Arcomatic. Super simple mod. It's just something we wanted to show off because I think it, it's perfect for a mod spotlight video like this. Definitely just adds some simple quality of life stuff without being super, super OP. It does have some options to it, I believe, that you can change in the I&I. &I. All right, the next mod we're going to look at is the Simple Creature Finder by Peter Pan. This is a really cool mod that just allows you to find dinos. Super simple. Just like the Creature Finder Deluxe that we used to play back on ASE, it'll give you a little tracker to that dino's location. We'll check it out here in just a second together. Now, keep in mind, just quick disclaimer on this, this works better on a dedicated server or on an actual full server. It works way better on there. If you're doing this on single player, you have to have the prevent hibernation command thrown in. I don't know if you can do that on consoles. Not something I've tested out yet, but it's definitely something we'll play with later. But on a server, it works just fine. Let's go ahead and check out the options for this one. All right, so what's cool about this, no additional items. You just have to open your menu, and then over here on the far right, you'll see Simple Creature Finder tab. Click that one, and then you can start searching for whatever it is you want to find on the map. So we're going to go Raptor. We're going to go like so, and then it's going to bring up all the ones. Oh, actually, it didn't seem to actually search it for us, but that's fine. We'll go down here, click Raptor ourselves, and these are the Raptors that are currently on our area. Now, keep in mind, once, I, like I said earlier, this is only the stuff in our area because we don't have hibernation turned on or the hibernation turned off on our servers or on our single player. So right now, everything outside the zone doesn't technically exist in the game. That way, it makes it to where your single player can actually run. All right, so if you click on this and you click down here to track dino, now, now we're going to get a little location for this guy when we close everything out. We should be able to turn around and find where the dino's at. There you go. Right up there, 367 meters up up there. Raptor 130, very, very cool. So just like I said, just super, super simple. I think it'll also work for the modded dinos it look like. Let's go ahead and check that out. I believe I saw the, let's see, refresh. Oh, how do we do this? Locked until untracked. How do we untrack it? Is that something we do in here, or do I do this? Hold on. We might just do this. If we go like that, dismiss. There you go. Remove tracking target. Okay, that, that did it right there. So go back in, and then I want to see if the Moro Raptor is on here. Oh, it is. Look at that. Moro Raptor. There's a Moro Raptor level 10 track dino. So there actually is a wild Moro Raptor from the mod that we just looked at. No kidding. Oh, it's way over there, way over there. So there you go. It is working on the other side of the map, even though we're in single player. So it does work for some of the things, I guess. Or maybe those just automatically spawn in specific locations. But that's the simple creature finder by Peter Pan. It might have some other functionalities that I'm not really aware of yet. Just something I really want to check out. Looks like it works on all dinos. And he's got a couple updates in the future planned for it. But it's got three-second cooldown to prevent spam clicking. And dino class button has a cooldown of one minute. Very, very cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. There's our Mod Spotlight video. So this was our top mods of the week. Next couple days, we've got a couple other Mod Spotlights coming up for a couple Dino mods that you guys have been requesting, a Quality of Life mod that you guys have been requesting, and some other cool stuff. They might be solo. They might be group mods. Not really sure, but this was the mods of the week for... December, wow, December 8th and 9th already. All right, that's a good way to close it out. So there you go. There are five, technically six, mods of the week. These mods were absolutely incredible. The mod developers are doing great things on them. If you go check them out, make sure you show them some love. Try not to be too negative over there. Keep in mind that these are all work in progress. Some of them work on console really well right now. Some are going to take some work to get there. And the updating process between Curse Forge and console and everything else is definitely a little bit of a challenge. But these modders are doing a great job of getting it ready. Hopefully, they don't get too stressed out and they keep making the game that we love even better. So thank you. Thank you for joining me today. We're almost at 21,000 subs. Blows my mind. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Huge shout out to the patrons that make the channel possible. Huge shout out to you for checking this video out. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. If you have a mod that you want me to check out, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much.